So I oh there he is there he is there he is. Okay, fire fire fire. All guns fire. Ramming speed, Mr. Sulu. Fire. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. Today, I thought I'd play a little Maelstrom. I know, not the sort of thing I traditionally play or indeed put on the channel, but I was looking at it and checking it out. The reviews are outstanding. It seems to have a really dedicated fan base, even in early access. I, I think my ship is sinking. I think my ship is seriously sinking. That can't be healthy. That, that, that's not right. That's not how ships are supposed to look, right? So I thought we'd give it a try. I've done the tutorial section before, but I'm going to do it again just so I can get a better handle on the controls, um, which are relatively straightforward. Basically, you know, WASD. And we've got our initial... Po okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. There's no reverse on boats, right? Boats don't have reverse, do they? Um, so, okay, destroy all targets. Fire your cannon, aim with the mouse, and fire using left click. All right, can do. Can do. Here we go. Yes. Uh, the aim indicator fills to let you know when your ship cannons are reloaded. Each side of a ship reloads independently. Can do, pirate lady. All right, so let's get that way, that way, that way. Okay. All right, we got that. Now we're going to have to wait for a reload, I assume. Oh, God, steering boats is hard. Steering boats is hard. So, yeah, not the sort of thing I traditionally put on the channel. And I assume that flash of light just means my cannons are reloaded now. I don't normally play PvP stuff or anything along these lines. Um, except sometimes I do. And here's the thing with my thoughts on PvP. I know I have said in other playthroughs of other things that, no, I'm not into PvP. It's just not my thing. I'm ready for some real action. Let's go through these caves to the shipping area. Be mindful of terrain. Hitting rocks can damage your ship. That sounds sensible. Uh, the white water is a current. Sailing with a current will speed you up, but sailing against it will slow you down. Again, fairly logical. Uh, speaking of slowing down, let's slow down here. Slow down. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, with PvP stuff, it's not that I never, ever play PvP. I do actually play a little bit of Crossout in my off time. Um, I don't put it on the channel because everyone and their brother has done Crossout, but I do play it in my off time, and I think it's a lot of fun. And for me, PvP is all about balance. Um, I want to feel that I can come into the game as a newcomer, as a complete noob. Come on, get that gold, get that gold. Oh, no, can we turn around? No, we can't sail past the maelstrom. Look out, a maelstrom's ahead. Don't get sucked into the center. Uh, maelstroms are dangerous. Yeah, it looks really dangerous, but have powerful currents that can be used to a savvy captain's advantage. Okay, your definition of savvy and mine may be completely different. Have you seen me steer a boat? Okay, here we go. Big whirlpool, big whirlpool. Coming up on it slow. Coming up on it slow. There we go. All right, we're, oh, go, oh, go. No, we hit, we hit a building. We hit a building. Who lives next to a maelstrom? What is that? Oh, oh, God, no. Oh, oh, that can't be healthy. That can't be healthy. All right, get, get out, get out, get out. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna hit the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, minor hull damage, folks. So that, that's fine. Um, I can't get off the rock. There, there we go. Okay, and get, get these golds here. That's good. All right, slow down, slow down. Don't, don't hit that rock too. Ah. Uh... Nice work getting past the maelstrom in one piece. Yeah, barely. That was impressive sailing. Really? Okay, you also have a different definition of impressive than I do. Head east to the bay where there should be treasure to plunder. Okay. So, yeah, PvP is all about balance for me. In in a game, you know, like Crossout, I feel is fairly well balanced. And in other games, it's completely unbalanced. I don't want to walk in as a noob and just be immediately slaughtered by some 12-year-old who's grossly overpowered and has nothing better to do with his life than play a PvP game all day. I don't have that kind of time. So I need a game to be well balanced. And the, the reviews for this one... Uh, again, very, very early access. This has basically only just been released recently. Um, so there is a good deal of balance. I haven't even touched on the PvP side of this. Um, I've basically only done this tutorial. Head to open water and destroy the small ships. Okay, can do. We've run into some lesser ships. It's common to find small, hostile ships in these dangerous waters. Let's destroy them. Yeah, I'm with you, lady. There's tons of treasure around, too. Make sure to collect the treasure you see by sailing through it. Okay, so sail through the treasure and kill the goblin raiders with our cannons 
totally flubbed that one. Totally flubbed that one. Come on, come on. Okay, you're you're shooting at me. You're shooting at me. All right, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That ship dropped a power up. Oh, we sunk it. Cool. If you pick that up, your stats will be increased. All right, till the end of the match. Lesser ships always drop power ups and treasure, so to be sure to destroy them. Can do. Yep. Oh, let's let's get this gold first, though. Let, let's get the gold first. Gold is important. And again, I have been through the tutorial area before, so when we get a little later on into the game, you'll see I do actually have more gold than you might think I do. Let's see if I can get a beat on that guy. Oh, that was... A, oh, yeah. Sunk him right off the bat. Oh, good. We've destroyed the small ships. Let's get these power-ups, though. Destroy the enemy frigate. Seems like an opportunistic scavenger is trying to sink you. Oh, dear. The ship has armor, represented by the white bars around the ship. You'll have to take out a section of the armor to damage the ship itself. All right, so... Focus on the armor before we can do any real damage to this. I think I'm starting to get a little better hang of actually moving the, the ship, the boat, whatever it is. It's a ship. Because what's the thing? You can you can put a boat in a ship, but you can't put a ship in a boat. That's how you tell which is which. So I... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, fire, fire, fire. All guns, fire. Ramming speed, Mr. Sulu. Fire. Come on, reload, 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 reload. I've got a really good beat on this guy right now. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, turn, turn, turn. Ram, ram, ram. Oh, oh, he's trapped. Oh, we got him now. Slow down, slow down. Just got Why don't why don't ships have a reverse? Well, sailing ships don't have reverse. Oh, armor break. All right, that's got to be a good thing. He's got sharks. He's got sharks driving his ship. I want sharks. I totally want sharks. I don't have sharks. Why do you have shark? You have sharks. Get out, get out, get out, and spin, spin, spin. Oh, he's kind of hung up on the rocks there. Oh, good. I, I saw the word crit in there. That can't be bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got this guy's number now. Sharks or no sharks, you're going down, Sparky. Okay, come on, come on. Spin, 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 spin. I'm, I'm not going to match his speed. Oh, but he missed. That's good. That's good. Oh, don't hit the rock. Okay, now we're hung up on the rocks. Uh, okay, good. Now he's hung up on the rocks. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, there we go. Now, everything you need to play, jumping right into battles can be intimidating. Yeah, no kidding. So check out the practice mode. We may just do that, lady. We may just do that. Thank you, pirate lady. Yay, we destroyed the thing. Okay, so after the tutorial area, we actually get to pick our own ship this time. We, we get away from the standard tutorial ship. And I have chosen orcs because sharks. Because we have sharks now. Sharks guide our ship. So I chose the orcs. I guess we have orcs, humans, and dwarves. And apparently, looking at the developer notes, uh, the next class will be undead. So that'll be kind of cool. That's coming down the pike. So I don't know if I want to jump into... A match right now I'd, I'd like to get a little better handle on how we can do in outside of a tutorial area so I'm gonna try solo versus bots a practice match against bot opponents yields no rewards but that's fine I really just honestly want to practice okay so they waste no time in practice mode there's something just right ahead of us but that's okay because I've got sharks now and apparently the orcs are good at ramming things so again Ramming speed, Mr. Sulu. Did I sink you? Oh, I did sink you. Oh, nice. It's a very good-looking game. I like being out in the open water away from, away from the tutorial area. It's good-looking. I don't know why we need these diesel chains holding the rocks down, but cool. Cool-looking. Um, I thought I saw another ship over here. Yeah. Oh, Armored Galleon. That sounds... Um... Wait, so these cannons can fire straight ahead. Is that is that what I'm seeing there? Yeah. Okay, so unlike the human ship, which was side-to-side... I can kind of fire in all directions. I'm okay with that. Let's ram this guy. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I sunk him. I sunk him. I got all his gold. Go, go, sink. Come on, sharks. Come on, sharks. Oh, uh, we should probably get out of here. This is, um, these guys look really impressive. Uh, okay, I got an armor break on him. I got an armor break. I got another armor break, and I, I think I saw the word crit in there somewhere. And all of these ships and races have different special abilities, which I haven't investigated too much. But I believe, if I read it correctly, the orc one is we get a burst of speed when we take damage, which is no bad thing. 
That's not bad at all. Come on. Shooty, shooty. Shooty, shooty. All right, ram him with the sharks. Here we go. Ram him with the sharks. All right, I'm 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 having no problems with the little ships, but these big guys... Oh, I think we sunk. I think... No, no, we're still up. We're still up. We're still up. We're good. We're good. Let these guys kind of fight amongst themselves for a little bit. Okay, okay good. The sea smells of death. It sure does. And like most Battle Royale games, we've got a shrinking map here. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, Grungin won. All right, let's do one more practice match just so I can kind of get the hang of this a little bit better if we can. Um, I, I think I feel I did okay with that. I feel like, you know, we weren't completely useless with the, the shooting the people and the ramming the people. And, and the running away from people is largely what we did. But yeah, like any Battle Royale game, it has a shrinking map. So, But what happens is apparently monsters come and eat you if you're in the Dead Waters area, which is neat. Um, okay, get you, get you. Yeah, you, you look manageable. I think we can eat you. Come on, sharky sharks. Come on. Oh, are we boarding? Are we boarding them? We're boarding them. Okay, boarding action is over. Okay, good. I think we did okay with that. His armor's really tough, though. Oh, that was a terrible shot. That was a terrible shot. Oh, that was a really good shot on his part. Oh, this can't be healthy. This can't be healthy. Go. Yep, yeah, ram him. Can we board him again? Can we board him again? Armor break. Good. I like the sound of that. I, I like the sound of all these guns going off in his face. Okay, sharks. Eat him. And go, sharks. Go Sharks! Come on, come on. I, I can take this guy. I know I can totally take this guy. Yes, yes. His armor is effectively crippled at this point. I'm just gonna come up from behind him and eat him with my Sharks. Ramming armor break. Oh, oh, he's done. He's done. Yeah. There we go. Say goodnight, Fib. My Sharks own you. Now, where... I wonder what... I don't know what the gold stars are down on the mini-map. All right, Gates did something to Aveda. Let's... I want to go up and see what... Yeah, there's those guys dead ahead, but I want to go up and see what the gold stars are. Are those treasures or something? Because if they are, I'd be all in favor of that. I'd also love any kind of power-ups we could get in terms of repairing the armor damage that we just took. That'd be handy. The sea smells of death, and that means the map is shrinking. Yeah, okay, so there's monsters up there now. There's somebody following directly behind me, too. I want to see what the gold star is first. It's sort of up in here. Is it? Is it just that? That gold? Okay, so cool. Gold, all right. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. That looks like a power-up of some sort. Oh, yeah, armor. Great armor. Good. Uh, we should probably deal with the guy who's following me. Oh, I'm gonna hit this rock. I'm gonna hit this rock. Sharks? Oh, he's got sharks, too. Oh, dear. It's shark versus shark. Uh, this is like a sci-fi movie. Sci-fi channel movie. Shark versus shark on a boat. Okay, sci-fi channel, if you're watching, don't steal that idea. Shark versus shark on a boat. Oh, he's got lots of cannons that are kind of coming in my direction. Oh, come on, come on. We can get him. We can get him. We can get him. We can... Yes! Yes! All right. There we go. Okay, now, if this could be an armor power-up, that would be great. Armor repair. Yep. Just what we needed. Oh, the map's shrinking. The map is shrinking. Um, now, I hesitate to ask this, but what is the brutal red skull up on the right-hand side there that I probably shouldn't go towards? Because by the time I get there, the map will shrink again. And that area will probably be out of bounds, or there will be monsters that will eat me. Oh, I got the speed bonus there. There's a maelstrom. Uh, let's If we go that way, we're just going to be moving against it. That's not really going to work. So let's go this way. The sea looks gorgeous. The sea absolutely looks gorgeous. And in many ways, I really wish this was some sort of RPG, because this land looks wonderful. I'd love to be checking out all these buildings, but... Yeah, such as it is. We're doing PvP today instead of RPG. It's just different letters. Okay, I'm going to go for the Red Skull. That sounds like a terrible idea in my mind, but I'm going to give it a shot. Sharks, don't fail me now. It should be right around the corner now. If the map just doesn't shrink, 
between oh yeah okay but it shrank on the other side good all right what whoa 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 everybody slow down that's um uh yo lordy kill it kill it kill it kill it oh god i've awoken the kraken from the first clash of the titans not the second one um okay go hit it hit it oh lord I knew there were monsters in this game, I just hadn't actually encountered them. Hit it! Uh, get off the rock, get off the rock! Come on, sharks, you're better than this. How does this guy do against sharks? Hopefully terribly. Okay, he's kind of hibernating there. No, he's up again, he's up again. He's uh, And I'm just cornered by rocks. Ram him. Sharks, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Um, I'm not sure what's happening here, it's a little intimate. Okay, go, go. Can I get these things from him? And then just sort of leave, maybe? Um, oh, I'm in the I'm in the dead zone here. I'm in the dead waters. That's not good either. Oh, you. Um, die. Die. Oh, okay, I saw the word crit there, and then I saw me dying. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good handle on the controls. Not so much with the monster fighting, but a pretty good handle on the controls. Let's try an actual battle against real human beings. Um, this is still in early access, so I know it can take a while to get a match going, but let me uh, get this started and see if we can actually defeat other humans who actually exist somewhere out in the real world. I don't have high hopes for it. So, yeah, it appears 100% correct that it takes an unreasonable amount of time to actually get a PvP match going. Um, I was sitting there for about 15 minutes with me and one other player. Now, that being said, this game has effectively just been released, and the time of day that I'm playing this, there are just not going to be a lot of other players up and around and, you know, doing what I want to do. So I kind of get it. But at the same time, there, although the fan base does appear to be very rabidly enthusiastic about this game, and I can see why, it's pretty fun, um, there's just not a lot of them. So I went back to practice mode because I was just basically sitting in an open ocean waiting for a whole bunch of other people to show up, which could have theoretically taken real-world time that I just don't have. So I'm back in practice mode just trying to get better. Um, I feel I can take this guy, but I'm not going anywhere near the monsters again. Okay, shark power. Here we go. Yes. Oh, hi. You kind of came out of nowhere. Can I hit you in the face? Can I do the boarding thing? Yes. Yes. Okay, and I got away from you. All right, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm not really penetrating this guy's armor very well. Come on. He's got sharks also. His sharks may be better than my sharks. Oh, I think he has more sharks. Oh, that's the problem. He has more sharks than I do. Oh, there, there's an inherent flaw right there. Uh, let's do something easier, like this little goblin raider. Yeah, he's he's got one more shark than I do, and that's not fair. Okay, sunk the goblin raider. Easy enough. The guy with the extra shark is coming up hard on my... On my... I don't know. What's the rear of the ship called? I forget. It's the back of the ship. Uh, go, go. Oh, sea smells of death. Map is shrinking. Oh, this guy's got my number. This guy absolutely has my number. Uh, what about this armor galleon? Can I take you out? Yep, I sure can. Yeah, G Gnoth over here, who has plus one shark than me, is really doing well. And I'm sort of not. I'd love it if there was an armor power-up. That doesn't look like armor, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, wow, I may not even make it over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, a uh, turn back monsters lurk in these waters. Don't have to tell me twice. We're out. We're out. I'm, I'm kind of still in the... Oh, there's monsters. Oh, that's a big monster. Th there's more monsters. Uh, let's... Can we get out of here, please? Uh, oh, that's another monster over there. Oh, that happened. So, that's what happens when the uh, map shrinks, kids. Monsters come and eat your face. So, there's a look at Maelstrom. It's a great-looking game. It handles well. I haven't encountered any bugs or glitches or anything like that. It just clearly needs a lot more people playing it. That's kind of the, the thing that needs to happen here before it's going to be 
a little more viable in terms of if you really want to do PvP, then you're going to need a lot more people playing this. And the practice mode's fun. I'm having a blast doing this. I've done this like five or six times since I recorded what I'm saying right now. But, uh, you know, there's Maelstrom. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments. And I'll check it out, and if you want me to play a little more, I'll certainly take a look at that. It just might be a little bit later until we get some more people actually playing this. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.